Top NASCAR prospect Zane Smith says he wants to be in Cup next year. Will there be room for him at front row, or will another team like Stuart Haas Racing swoop in? How's it going, y'all? My name is Eric. Welcome to Out of the Groove. Still on the road, as you can see, but enjoying some nice time with family the past couple days. I went to Dollywood for the first time yesterday. That was cool. Had some downtime today. I was perusing social media, Twitter, the new Threads app that may or may not make it. And I stumbled across this tweet from reporter Lee Spencer about Zane Smith. Spencer tweeted, Zane Smith said he wants to be racing on Sunday next year. Hopes to have his plans in place by the end of the month. He's currently under contract with Front Row Motorsports until 2026. Mm, I saw that tweet, had some free time this afternoon, figured I'd sit down and, and share my thoughts real quick. First off, there's really nothing surprising about that tweet. We've known for months, if not years, that Zane Smith is under contract with Front Row long term. Contracts can always be broken or reworked, but we've known for a while now that Zane Smith and Front Row have a deal through 2026. I'm also not surprised to hear that Zane Smith wants to go cup racing. <laughs> I mean, the guy is in his fourth straight full-time season in the Craftsman Truck Series. He's been to the championship for three years in a row, won the title last year. He's second in points right now. The guy's won all there is to win in trucks. You could argue maybe next stop should be the Xfinity series, but at 24 years old, the way people talk about Zane Smith, I think he's ready for cup. Remember a couple years ago, he had a cup series contract in place with Chip Ganassi, which became void once Ganassi sold to Trackhouse. So Zane Smith has been on a lot of different team owners' radars for several years now. He's ready for the cup series, but will he race for Front Row next year? Front Row only owns two charters, and they've got two pretty solid drivers filling those slots right now. Michael McDowell is 38 years old, won the Daytona 500 just two years ago. Right now, he's 18th in points. We just talked earlier this week about how close he is to sneaking into the playoffs this season on points. He's come on strong this summer with three top 10s in the past four races. Remember, Hendrick Motorsports poached Blake Harris from front row. Harris and McDowell made some magic together last season. With Harris gone, I figured McDowell would take a big step backwards. And you know, sure, statistically, he's slightly down from last year, but he's still very much a playoff contender, even with a new crew chief. I know Front Row Motorsports likes to work in one-year deals, but they need to commit longer term to Michael McDowell. Maybe McDowell is weighing his options. Perhaps a team like Stuart Haas is knocking on his door, but assuming that Loves and the other sponsors are sticking around, there is no reason Michael McDowell should still be a free agent. Front Row should have signed him to a longer term deal months ago. I'm big on Michael McDowell right now. I think he's exactly what that Front Row Motorsports team needs. So let's look at their second current driver. That's Todd Gilliland. He's 23 years old. He has steadily improved since his rookie season. His average finish has improved nearly three spots. He's already got three top tens this year after having only two all of last season. Todd Gillen's stock has risen dramatically. He's recently became a Kevin Harvick Incorporated management client, which has fueled rumors that a team like Stuart Haas may be interested in Gilliland should the number 10 car be available. But we'll talk more about that in a moment. I like Todd Gilliland a lot. I think he is deserving of a NASCAR Cup Series seat or at least a good Xfinity ride. So it pains me to say this, but if I'm Bob Jenkins, if I'm Front Row Motorsports, my lineup next year is Michael McDowell and Zane Smith. As well as Todd Gilliland has done, Zane Smith is the better prospect. He's done so much winning in trucks the past four seasons. You know, in 2020 and 2021, Zane Smith and Todd Gilliland raced head to head against each other in trucks. Zane Smith won three races, made it to two straight championship fours. Todd Gillen won only one race and never finished better than seventh in the standings. And then the next year in 2022, when Todd Gillen went on to cup, Zane Smith took over Todd Gillen's ride, same crew chief and everything, and went on to win the championship. So as good as Todd Gillen has been, Zane Smith is better. He is the better prospect. He has a higher ceiling. And it's all timing out so well for front row. Your cars look good. The past two years since the next gen was introduced, suddenly, I mean, that 34 car looks like a borderline playoff contender every single week. The 38 car, credit to Todd Gillen, has also improved the past two seasons. 
Front Row is finally in a position where you know, they can challenge the B-tier organizations like RCR or even RFK. And now you have one of the hottest prospects in NASCAR under team control for the next three years ready to go cup racing. The cars are better, you got a great young driver ready to go. The timing couldn't be better for Front Row Motorsports. Mike McDowell and Zane Smith should be their lineup next year. Look, Hendrick Motorsports swooped in and poached Blake Harris from you last year. You can't let another big team like a Stuart Haas, for example, poach Zane Smith. You can't let that happen in back-to-back -back years. Now is the time, if you're Front Row Motorsports, to build. Pedal to the metal. If you're ever gonna become a competitive team, a legitimate B-tier Cup Series organization, now is the time to go. You lose Zane Smith, you lose Blake Harrison back-to-back -back years, you're losing all momentum. That will doom your team, lower your ceiling, you're just accepting mediocrity at that point. You hate to let Todd Gilliland go. Maybe he'd be open to a truck series seat, but I doubt it. But that's the lineup going forward. Zane Smith is just the better prospect, and Michael McDowell is the seasoned veteran who's getting the absolute most out of your equipment, regardless of crew chief. McDowell, Zane. Now, I've mentioned Stuart Haas Racing a few different times in this video. I believe they will have a role in Front Row Motorsports' future. They've already made one big silly season move, signing Josh Berry to replace Kevin Harvick, but Eric Almarola has still not decided what he will do next season. Remember a year ago, he was ready to retire. Decided to come back for this season. This season has not been good. It's been the ugliest season of his SHR tenure. And you hear him talk these last few weeks, he still hasn't made a decision. If you ask me, I think he's leaning towards stepping away, which means Stuart Haas Racing will likely have another seat they need to fill before next year. I'll bet you Zane Smith, Michael McDowell, maybe even Todd Gilliland are all on their radar. And Gene Haas, Ford, they've got the resources to buy out or restructure or rework Zane Smith's contract. I'm not saying it's likely, but I'm saying it's likely an option they've considered. Michael McDowell is an experienced veteran race car driver, likely not as expensive as some of the other stars of the NASCAR Cup Series, so I could see either of them being great candidates to replace Eric Almarola. Even Todd Gillen, who I mentioned earlier, is now a KHI client. He's got that tie-in, that relationship. He'd be a lot younger than the rest of SHR's current lineup, but hey, you know, every team needs that one young prospect rising through the ranks, right? But you know, I just spelled out what I'd like Front Row to do. And I think it's pretty clear. I want them to hold on to Michael McDowell and go sign Zane Smith or keep Zane Smith, but move him up to cup. Sorry, Todd Gillen. I think Zane Smith and Michael McDowell, that's front row's future. So in my world, in the scenario I've created now, let's talk about some alternatives for Stuart Haas Racing. Again, assuming Eric Almarola steps away because if Almarola wants to return, they'll let him return. He brings that Smithfield money, results be damned, Almarola gets the 10 as long as Smithfield's there. <laughs> I like Stuart Haas's current driver lineup a lot, honestly. I think Chase Briscoe is a great young race car driver with a very high ceiling. Ford believes in him. I like Josh Berry. May not have a ton of NASCAR experience, but he's got a ton of real world racing experience, which I think will translate. We've already seen it translate in the Xfinity series. Uh, even Ryan Priest, great modified racer. He's not some young 22 year old driving in over his head. I love that SHR has gone primarily with seasoned veteran race car drivers, not necessarily NASCAR drivers. Briscoe's only in year three. Priest only has four or five full-time years of cup experience. Josh Bear will be a rookie next year. Like not a ton of NASCAR experience at SHR, but they are dudes. Dudes who can drive race cars and have been doing that for a long, long time. I like this strategy from SHR. And honestly, I think they should double down, triple down, or now quadruple down on it. They could go with Cole Custer, who's 25 years old. He's in their system already. He's got some Cup Series experience, but it wasn't great Cup Series experience. That's not a pick that I think would excite the organization. They've seen what Cole Custer can do in Cup. It wasn't great, and it wasn't all that long ago. I think it's too soon to throw him back into that gauntlet. Riley Herbst, no, it's not going to happen anytime soon. Todd Gilliland, I, I mean, I just mentioned an argument could be made for sure, but he's 23 years old, a lot younger than the rest of the team. No, I think Stuart Haas Racing should make a serious effort to sign Shane Van Gisbergen full time. I know y'all are thinking I've jumped the shark. I'm a prisoner of the moment, but hey, Shane Van Gisbergen, I don't know if his skills 
will translate to ovals. I I'm sure they will in due time, but it may take some time for him to become comfortable at Charlotte Motor Speedway or Richmond or Bristol. But what I know about Shane Van Gisbergen is right now, if you put him in a decent car, guaranteed one road course win a year. I mean, he was so much better than almost the entire field at Chicago. There were, you know, maybe Christopher Bell, Larson, Reddick were close. They were competitive, but a lot of them made mistakes. SVG was in a league of his own at Chicago. Five road races in the regular season. I don't know. I don't know next year's schedule for sure, but I'm sure there'll be a lot of road courses on it. Pencil in SVG for at least one win a year, as long as there are multiple road courses. That would be big for SHR. Shane Van Gisbergen fits the Stuart Haas racing mold. He's a little older, he's 34 years old, not much NASCAR experience, obviously, but he's a racer. Ton of real world racing experience. He's a three time supercars champion, obviously. I believe he fits that mold that Tony Stewart in particular is looking for. Similar in age to Josh Berry, Ryan Priest, even Chase Briscoe. I think that's a group that would gel really well together. I don't know that SVG would even be interested. I'm not sure Stewart Haas can even get him, but SVG did say you know, immediately after winning Chicago last week that yeah, I'm under contract for next year, but then I'd love to come to the US. I'd love to race NASCAR. He's interested in coming full-time racing, uh, and even his current Supercars team said that they won't stand in his way if he wants to come race full-time next season. So I think it's possible. Pull a few strings, call in a favor here or there, rework a contract or two. SVG could be full-time in NASCAR next year, and I think Stuart Haas Racing should be one of the highest bidders. Y'all can call me crazy, and maybe I am, but I think SVG fits what Stuart Haas Racing is trying to build really nicely. SHR needs experienced racers that can rebuild that team. They're not like Joe Gibbs Racing, who was you know, foundationally strong enough that they could plug in a 20-year-old Ty Gibbs and you know, hardly miss a beat. Truex, Hamlin, Bell all won races this year. Stuart Haas isn't like that. They are rebuilding. They need experienced racers. They need experienced crew chiefs and engineers who aren't afraid of today's simulation technology. They are in full rebuild right now. And I think a team of Briscoe, Barry, Priest, and SVG, I think that could help get that rebuild off the ground faster than another lineup would. That's just my quick take. I'm sitting on the side of a mountain right now. Maybe the thinner air is messing with my brain. I don't know. I don't, I don't think we're actually at that high of elevation, <laughs> but I wanna hear what you think down below. Uh, who do you think lands Zane Smith? Do you think SVG comes to NASCAR full-time next year? Does McDowell stay with front row? And who do you think front row and Stuart Haas should pursue? Not necessarily who you think they'll get, but who should they attempt to sign. Let me know down in the comment section below. I want to hear your thoughts. That is going to do it for today's episode, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new and you love NASCAR. And thank you to my Patreon supporters for uh, your very generous support. I really appreciate you all watching. I will be back tomorrow night or Sunday night probably after Atlanta. And then I should be back in the studio next week and we can get back to work. Uh, thanks for watching, y'all. I'll see you again real soon.